The question is if Anna can speak about working with the great filmmaker Jacques Rivette, with whom you made The Nun and Up Down. Oh, Jacques Rivette, you mean? Jacques, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I understood another name. I said, I don't know this guy. Yeah, Jacques Rivette. <laughs> well, Jacques Rivette, I met him when I was, uh, I must have been 17 and a half or close to 18, because he was very good friend with Jean Luc. He was a very good friend like uh, François Truffaut, Eric Romer, and lots of other directors at that time. And, and we were also always together at the Cinémathèque. And, and uh, Jacques Rivet uh, wanted to do, uh, well, I just did, I guess, uh, Living Your Life with Jean-Luc, Vivre sa vie. And uh, so uh, Jacques Rivet was pre preparing a, uh, The, the, la religieuse, the nun, in the theater, and she asked me to do to play uh, uh, to play the the part, the lead. Suzanne Simona. Suzanne Simona. I guess I'm getting tired. I'm trying to. Do you want one? No, it's okay. No. <laughs> and so I did it on the theater first, the film, La Religieuse. And everybody liked it, even Brigitte Bardot came in there. She was with Sammy Frey at that time. They saw La Religious on the, on the stage with me, and they, they cried, you know, and they, yeah, it was very good. I got good critics. I even got a little prize from the radio. And then we do, do the film about three years, I guess, later. And we do the film, and the film is out, it's coming out, and ah, so it's banded, you know by Malo and all the priests and all that, the, 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 the church, the Catholic, and uh, were saying, what did you do? Blaspheme, blaspheme. What did we do? I mean, it's, it's Diderot, it's a very, uh, it's a beautiful novel of uh, Denis Diderot and with a very beautiful language and we didn't understand he was making a Big, big scandal. They went to Cannes, it was a scandal, and everybody started to scream. And it was in the papers for six months, and it couldn't get out because all the priests and all the, the Catholic in France, you know, were really like uh, so angry. And we didn't understand why, and Rivet didn't understand either why, you know. But so the film finally came out about, I guess, two years later, and it was a big success, of course, because everybody wanted mm -hmm. to see the scandal film, you know, that was not really a scandal, and you know. So it came out and it was a big hit. And uh, I like to work with Rivet. It was not, nothing to do with Jean-Luc Gounard. It's not the same kind of work. He was a very precise guy, you know, would make a traveling with, with 46, uh, You know, where the cameraman had to stop. Uh, it's pretty uh, traveling, you know, it stopped all the time. Mm -hmm. Going back here, and the guy who was pushing the traveling, he was going crazy in the end because he didn't know, he didn't remember if he had to go here or there, and so on. So, and he, but it was very, uh, it, was, it was great to, to work with Jacques Rivet, but sometimes it was a bit tiring too because. He would rehearse if the same scene, you know, for, 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 for I don't know, for five days. That it, and it wouldn't didn't make that much difference, you know. <laughs> so, and I, I, a part the director of the studio said, of the theater said, "Well, you have now ready to. If not, we it's going to take ten years before we begin to play, you know, the theater play." But the film, uh, he liked to be far away always to, to see the whole uh, scene. That's not, I think there's only one close-up in the film. Mm. And I don't even think it's that close. It's, <laughs> it's a bit far away anyway. And the cameraman, who became a director too afterwards, called Claude Zedi, mm. I don't know if you heard about mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, But it can't be used for once, you know, the six, a 60, you know, or a 35 at least. No. 
So one day the 28th broke down, you know, the, the lint. So he said, he said, oh no, then I'll go into an 18, that's even further away, you know. <laughs> and, you know, the, I don't know how you call that, the, the lint. Somebody knows it. The yeah, lens. Okay, so I said the lens, yeah. And <laughs> so it was uh, very precise with Jack. And the last film I did with him, calling uh, uh, Oba Fragile or Oba Up Down Fragile. fragile. Well, I'm playing a part, the mother of somebody. We're not sure if it's the mother or not, you know. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm playing a singer, singing in the nightclub and all that. And uh, in this nightclub, I was uh, singing a song that my husband, Dennis Berry, who was sitting over there, wrote. And, you know, and uh, so I sing the song. And that's another actress coming in, and she just has to say, hello, how are you tonight? So she comes in and says, hello, how are you tonight? And she actually said, no, it's no good. You have to do it again. The poor actress, I, I think she had to do it about 35 times, you know, just for one line. Was I mean, that Marianne Denningcourt? No, no, it was not her, but I'm not saying who it was. Okay. <laughs> but it wasn't her. Not Maria, no. Secrets. <laughs> no, because of, you know, she was sad, you know, so why would it? You know who she was, Dennis. <laughs> I'll talk to Dennis. But you won't tell, <laughs> because I don't want you to tell. It's no good to talk about.